Aussie Olympic breakdancer Ray Gunn has finally spoken publicly after her performance last Friday made headlines across the globe. Yep, you've probably noticed that this week has been a Ray Gunn frenzy. Australian breakdancer Rachel Gunn, a.k.a. Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn. Wow, Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn. But not all of the attention has been friendly. I'm glad I was able to bring some joy into your lives. That's what I hoped. I didn't realise that that would also open the door to so much hate, which is frankly been pretty devastating. Yeah, there's been a lot of hate towards Ray Gunn over her performance and how she got to the Olympics in the first place, including a petition with more than 47,000 signatures accusing her of manipulating the selection process. This pile on and a petition was just a fabrication of mistruths. The Australian Olympic Committee says that Ray Gunn's selection was legitimate, having won the Oceana qualifying event last October. Ray Gunn, two wow. to one! The petition has since been taken down, while Ray Gunn says she did her best and has now asked for privacy. I did take it very seriously. I worked my butt off. Everyone has been through a lot as a result of this, so I ask you to please respect their privacy. Taylor Swift has returned to the stage for the first time since her cancelled Vienna shows. Three concerts were cancelled there after a possible security threat, but now she's back in action in London and fans couldn't be happier. We are so excited. We've had these tickets for over a year now. It's actually unbelievably, unbelievably exciting. Yes. Well, the competition to become the very first Australian-built moon rover is heating up. The Australian Remote Operations for Space and Earth Consortium has just put the finishing touches on this rover prototype. It's up against this rover from Adelaide, which was unveiled back in March, and the winner will head to the moon's south pole to gather more data on regolith, or lunar dirt, for NASA sometime in the next decade. It moves around about one metre per second, got a suspension system on it so it can go over rocks and, and down minor slopes. Science Week wraps up this weekend, but there is still time to tell you about one very impressive zoologist who's famous for being the world's top chimpanzee expert. Jane Goodall always loved animals. When she was a little girl, she was given a toy chimpanzee named Jubilee and she took it with her everywhere. She read Tarzan and Dr. Doolittle and dreamed of going to Africa. It finally came true in 1957 when Jane went to visit her friend who lived on a farm in Kenya. While she was there, she met a famous paleoanthropologist, Dr. Lewis Seymour Bassett Leakey. He was impressed by Jane's passion and arranged for her to go to the Gombe Stream Game Reserve to study chimpanzees. She observed behaviour that no one else had seen before, like hunting for meat and using and even making tools. Eventually, her focus shifted from research to conservation. My mission today, the reason I keep going, age 90, is because if we lose hope, we do nothing. We don't want to bring children into a world where from the very beginning, they believe everything's hopeless. If we get together, if we roll up our sleeves and take action, there is hope for the future of the planet. Now it's time for a part of the show called The Times. They may or may not be a changing. <laughs> First up to London, where it's time for the curtain to close on this graffiti mural by street artist Banksy, because London Zoo has decided to remove it. But don't worry, they're not scrubbing the roller door clean. They're actually going to remove the whole thing and keep it in a safe place until they decide what they want to do with it. Staying in the UK, some new street signs have started popping up around town to warn drivers about hedgehogs. Yeah, the spiky critters may be cute and prickly, but they have terrible fight or flight instincts. So when faced with predators, or in this case cars, let's just say they don't come out on top very often. <laughs> the hope is that these new signs will warn motorists to slow down and take note of the little hogs. And finally to the US, where a painting chimpanzee is busy paying the bills. Limbani is eight years old and lives at a zoo in Florida. Now he loves to paint and the zoo is raising money for his new home. So they've decided to sell Limbani's artworks to help raise funds. What's so special is that people find joy in him and he has the biggest personality. Well, that's all from us this week. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>